Trino's project's main aim is to promote ornithological tourism in Castilla León, Spain. The covered surface exceeds 52% of the regional surface. The infrastructures that comprise the project are very diverse, ranging from more than 835 kilometers of marked and geo-reference trails to rural lodgings or active tourism companies and guide services. The people in charge of these establishments have received sufficient training to effectively inform their customers on the bird life present in the territory, the best times to visit and areas where observation will be simpler. Because of being located at very quiet places with little light pollution, we recommend that you spend the night there to enjoy wonderful starry skies and try to see or hear some nocturnal birds of prey. We believe citizen participation is very important and for this reason various photographic competitions have been promoted with excellent results both in photographs presented as well as the level reached. One of the most outstanding activities has been the organization of the bird photography course in online video, an activity that has never been done before. Over 10 chapters we have dealt with some of the most interesting topics for all those who want to learn or perfect the photos within this discipline. Besides, we have presented each episode in a different province in Castilla y León, more specifically in different areas within Trino. The large area which comprises Castilla y León gives us the opportunity to enjoy a wide variety of ecosystems. Magnificent pines, cork oaks or oak groves will be represented in some museums which are part of a project. With them we will learn some interesting things such as landscape interpretation or knowledge of the species living in a particular place by studying their tracks and signals. Inside these ecosystems, we will find very interesting species such as the coal tit, the hawfinch or the lesser spotted woodpecker. The latter is a small woodpecker with a size resembling that of a sparrow. If we stay next to a step lake during winter, we will definitely hear the characteristic trumpeting of the cranes during sunset, which arrive at a place to spend the night. To do this, what better way to do that from one of the modern and practical wooden observatories existing in areas encompassing Trino. There we will be sheltered from the cold and the rain. We can also use these observatories during the day to observe some sun grouses with a telescope as aid. In river valleys we cannot miss the trees in the bank during autumn where the yellow and red colours contrast with the black plumage of cormorants and starlings, which use these shrublands as shelter. These are excellent habitants to explore bird routes either on foot or by bicycle, a few tours which in most cases are adapted to all ages and physical conditions. In them we can generally find gentle slopes that will allow us to enjoy a lovely walk with family or friends. Completing this, Trino's project has a web page full of useful content offering, among other services, the possibility to download over a hundred ornithological routes in order to have the route we are doing visible at all times. Some of the routes include augmented reality, which improves the actual perception of the environment with images, videos or digital information. The only thing we need is the help of a mobile device. You will be able to visit several areas with spectacular rock eclipses. If we spot white marks on them, this will be a confirmed sign that large birds of prey, such as the griffin vulture, will be nesting on its ledges. That will be the right moment to get hold of our binoculars. With them located on a high area, we might be lucky enough to spot these birds flying above us a few meters away. One of the landscapes that characterise this region is definitely cereal fields, which as well as supporting part of the economy, provides shelter for the heaviest flying birds on Earth, with one of the largest populations in the world. Spring is a highly recommended time to be around, as the bustards will come into heat, and courtship is really spectacular. In the Mediterranean scrub, we have the possibility of running into two of the most unique and attractive species for any bird fan, the black vulture and the black stork. 
If you want to delight yourself with these landscapes and enjoy watching their birds, do not hesitate and pay a visit to Castilla y León. You will find all the information you need on trino.tv.